right, the next one I want you to know about is Pennsylvania. And Pennsylvania was created by a guy named William Penn. All right, Pennsylvania means Penn's Woods. All right, so Transylvania means across the woods. Anything Sylvania means woods. So it's Penn's home, basically. And um, Penn actually lived in England and was a Quaker. And Quakers were treated poorly in England because they were just different. Um, they always wore hats. They were big on their hats. And if you've ever seen Quaker Oats, you've got a Quaker on them. That's why it's called Quaker Oats. And um, these Quakers were very unique in their thoughts. Um, they believed that everybody's great. You should love everybody. And when I say they think you should love everybody, they think women should be equal, which was unheard of. They thought you should treat um, anyone of different races equally, did not believe in slavery, um, even when they treat Native Americans fairly. Like this is crazy, crazy talk. And um, they were not treated well in England for it. Uh, they didn't drink. So in a culture that was pretty big on drinking, uh, for you not to do that was kind of a weird thing. And so they were just different and they weren't liked. So William Penn decided, you know what, we need a new home for the Quakers. And so he settles in Pennsylvania. He gets a charter from the king to do so, and he makes it. And his idea is this is going to be a model community. It's going to be a perfect place for people. Massachusetts Bay was supposed to be a model community, but that kind of ended in Salem Witch Trials. This one's going to go a lot better. And he needs a big city. And he's trying to think what to call it. And he knows that Quakers are all about loving each other. And there's different types of love. You've got Eros love, which is like, hey, baby girl, that kind of love. All right. Um, there's um, agape love, which is like, you know, hey, we all love each other. We're, that's great. And then there's philia, philios love, which is like chest bump love. What's up, buddy love? Brotherly love. So philiadelphia. Adelphos means city. Philadelphia, city of brotherly love. All right. So it's chest bump love city. It's that kind of love. And that's what the Quakers were. They're all about like, we're brothers, you're my brother, I'm your brother, you're my sister, that type of stuff. And so, perfect name for his city. So Philadelphia is going to be a huge city in American history. Um, we're going to do a lot of important things there with the Declaration and Constitution. It's just going to be a big city that we're going to have a lot of meetings in. So, might want to know Philadelphia. All right. Um, a key thing to know about the Quakers in Philadelphia is that the rule of women was completely different than everywhere else. Like I said, they thought women should be treated equally, which was unheard of. Um, they're just involved in everything as men are, and that is a big thing. And the other thing, like I said, is the relationship with Native Americans. Uh, William Penn, when he needs new land and he needs to expand, he actually trades with Native Americans and pays them a fair amount for the land. And, you know, fair amount may not be what he would have paid a white person necessarily, but way better than what everyone else was giving them. So the Quakers are just good, nice people. They don't persecute anyone. They try to love everybody equally. So go Quakers. And the key thing that the Quakers are gonna give us later on for our government is this idea of tolerance, of being okay with everyone, um, loving everyone, having peace for everyone, freedom for everyone. So you're gonna remember that about them too. All right, the last colony we're gonna focus on is Georgia. And Georgia was settled by James Oglethorpe. And he was an Englishman who, in some ways just felt bad for people who were treated poorly in England. Um, he saw the debtors prisons and just thought it was unfair. Uh, debtors prisons are prisons for people who can't pay back debts. So let's say your parents had the foreclose on your house. Something bad happened. They couldn't pay the rent. They would actually go to prison to pay off the rest of the house, even though you can't really make money in prison. So you go to prison because you can't pay your bills and you can't get out of prison until you pay your bills, but you can't pay them because you're in prison. So kind of a crazy thing. Um, so he was totally against that. Um, and what he decided to do was to give people a fresh start in the new world. So he asked the king for a charter. It was King George, so he names it Georgia, creative naming. Um, and 
King George loves this idea for a few reasons. Um, it's not that he's being terribly nice. Um, it's kind of things that benefit him. Uh, what he's doing is he's getting all these debtors out of his prisons, which is saving him a lot of money. And instead of them sitting in prison, rotting, and costing him a lot of money, now they're gone away. So he's getting rid of all these unwanted people. They're working in the new world, making money for the companies, which in turn make money for the king eventually. So this is perfect for him. And they don't stop there. They get rid of other people that are in just regular prison and send them there too. Um, so it saves him a lot of money, gets a lot of headaches out of England. So it works out for everybody. James Oglethorpe is so excited about this because now all these people can get this new life. Um, they're not going to have slaves there. He wants people to work for themselves. Um, no drinking there. He wants them to have fun, but not too much fun. And um, it's just, this is another model community. So this is the third model community you should know. Massachusetts Bay didn't work out so well. Pennsylvania worked out pretty well. And Georgia eh, worked out okay too. Um, another thing to know about Georgia is it's called the debtor colony because of all the debtors there. That one's the obvious. But another thing is it's called a buffer colony. And a buffer is kind of a blocker. Um, on your car, you have a bumper. So if you run into another car, it kind of takes that impact. Um, in football, you've got your pads. It's kind of that protection between. So Georgia is known as the buffer colony because it's next to Florida. And Florida is owned by Spain. And pretty much all the people in Spain are Catholic. And so if you don't want Spain to get too friendly with these kind of low-life scum of England, um, you need them to hate each other. Because it would be easy to see all these people who have been treated poorly by England say, forget this, we're just going to join Spain and have Georgia secede or leave um, England's control. So the king does something really interesting. He says, you know what, you can have this colony, but no Catholics there. So only Protestants or any other religion or no religion at all, they can all go there, but no Catholics can be in Georgia. And the idea is that Florida and Georgia will always butt heads, which will make sure they don't leave. And if Florida decides to invade the colonies, they'll have to march through Georgia first to hit all the other ones. And since this is all the low-life scum that the king doesn't like, he's okay if a lot of them get slaughtered accidentally by the, by the Spanish. It will give the other colonies time to prepare a defense against it. So Georgia's the buffer colony.